Hi guys, just thought I'd uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, blade bolt uh, torque tightness. Uh, seeing that it's a question I get emailed on quite often. Um, obviously, all RC helicopters, or the majority, uh, have what's called a fully articulated head, meaning the uh, the blades can pivot in the blade bolt to, or in the blade holders on a single pivot point, which is your blade bolt. Um, Setting the correct, correct tightness is quite important, um, especially when you get into larger machines. On, on small helicopters like this little Blade 400, it's not quite as critical because the blade mass isn't that, uh, isn't that much. Uh, so, you know, if a blade uh, lagged, say, while you're spooling up, it will, it will lag behind. You know, it'll vibrate, but it'll spin out pretty quickly. Obviously, you don't want them so tight, though, that they can't spin out to find their centers. A uh, good way to check that on a little 400 uh, you want to hold it uh, sideways to the ground so the blades are horizontal or perpendicular to the ground and give it a little shake and they should pivot down. You know, you want them just stiff enough so they're holding. You know, the pull of gravity isn't pulling them down but a uh, little bit of a shake will move them down. And you want them set at the uh, same tightness so they, both, so they both pivot, you know, down kind of at the same time. And that will uh, tell you that they're both at the same uh, tightness. We go to a bigger machine like a 600. More motor, more uh, rotor mass here, so you definitely don't want the rotors to be lagging on spool up, because it could put the head so out of balance that it'll shake. Uh, it'll shake so bad the bird could tip over before they before the head comes up to enough speed to spin them out onto their centers. So something like this, even a little jerk or a shake won't get them to move. You really got to give it a, a good shake to get them to pivot down. And we'll try that one more time. Try to hold the gear from turning. But, you know, that's uh, essentially how much uh, movement you get in, in a more massive blade. You'd want them tight enough so they hold quite well. Once you get into big gassers or turbines um, where you're running 750, 800 millimeter rotor blades, uh, these have a lot of mass and you don't want them lagging at all on spool up or leading on spool down because the amount of mass in there, even if they lag just a little bit, will absolutely cause havoc. Just tons of vibration and uh, could tip the bird right over. So with these, you want them so tight that even if you shake this, shake the snot out of this thing, these things are not gonna budge. So, uh, again, not that uh, most people will be starting with something like this, and by the time you do have something this big, uh, you'll know all about blade bolt torque tightness, but uh, it caught me by surprise the first time I spooled this thing up. Um, didn't have them snug down quite a bit. One blade lagged, and oh, the vibrations were horrible. So, hopefully that gives you a quick uh, rundown on blade bolt torque and uh, why it's important.